Good morning, everybody. Stay Ted. I have to stay here. Lay down. I don't want Ted to run out, so I think I'm going to tie him. I'm going to tell you, let's get you tied up. Come here. Come here, Ted. Did you eat? Did you eat your biscuit? Good boy. Teddy had to eat his biscuits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're in the kitchen with Susie. <laughs> Take this off because it's getting a little hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Started out pretty chilly this morning. Yeah, I didn't know what to make this morning. I was like, unsure what to whip up. But I decided to do turkey bacon and eggs, okay? That's what's for supper, what's for breakfast. Actually, it's not even breakfast anymore. Now it's more like lunch. So. Okay, so I buy this really cheap cookware. <laughs> It's so cheap. I bought it at Walmart. I got a set of three. Um, but I use this and I forgot my lid for the top of this pan. So, this time I brought some coconut oil. I usually carry olive oil because we're just making turkey bacon. Turkey bacon doesn't have a lot of fat in it. I'm gonna fry it all up here. That way I can give Teddy some. Yeah, I have a, a bucket down here, guys. That's what I'm using for my trash. It's a bucket. And I'm get a fork. Separate my bacon a little bit. So I have four pieces in here. It's a little much, but I brought my propane stove but it got wet and now it won't light so I have to try it because I need to use that for my camper oven and I have to try it and see what's going on so like I said I forgot my lid so we're gonna have to work without a lid just to keep down a little touch here that coconut oil gives me a nice fry um, that's real nice so yeah, we're gonna sit here and just wait for our bacon to cook. Have a little chat. The weather's really beautiful today and I'm looking forward to Jeremiah coming. We're gonna have a nice time. And we're gonna go for hikes, make brownies, in the camper oven. Just having a really good time, y'all. <laughs> Can you tell I'm relaxed? I'm totally relaxed. Totally chill, man. Yeah, this is the bomb diggity. This is the life right here. Time to check the bacon. Yeah. Checking out the bacon. So, yeah. I'm really enjoying this trip. I have things set up pretty nice. I have my screen up. You know, and it's not really keeping out any bugs, but it's nice to have it open this time of year. Looks like it's done. One more flip. I like my turkey bacon a little crispy. A lot of sun coming in there. Can you see me okay? The sun's right behind the camera. And then we'll put this on here. Let that fat healthy fat though it's coconut oil and turkey bacon doesn't have that much fat so next we crack our eggs these are big eggs these are giant eggs Let me take some salt. This is my little seasoning packet. Black pepper. Mm. Fresh red pepper. So 
cooking. I'm gonna put my gluten free in this this way. My gluten free bread in the toaster, just gluten free. Cheese tax has to be paid to Ted. Whenever you open a packet of cheese, <laughs> you gotta pay the cheese tax. I just lay the cheese on top of the egg. So guys, it's breakfast. Actually, it's, I guess you would consider it brunch. Let's see what time it is. 11.28. So this would be brunch, I guess, but last night I didn't eat any dinner. All I had was yogurt and Fig Newtons for supper. <laughs> I just didn't feel like cooking. It's the beauty of being here. You don't have to do anything. Here we go, eggs. Mm. Those are good. With the cheese all gooey. Yeah, so that was pretty good. I mean, usually what I do, I'll have a nice dinner. Last night I just didn't feel like it. See, I'm boiling my water, and then I'm gonna go over here and do my dishes, which if you guys wanna watch me do dishes, I could bring the video thing over and let you see me do dishes. It's pretty easy. Now, if they have a washing station, I'll go up there and do dishes, <clears throat> but if they don't, I just have a bucket here. I keep soap in it. I squirt it with a little water to soak the dishes. And then I heat up a pot, <clears throat> run some water in my sink in there with my water that I have in my, I have 13 gallons, probably have about 10 gallons left. <clears throat> and then I wash my dishes there. Works out pretty darn good. Hey guys, we're back here in the kitchen doing some dishes. So as you can see, I already ran some cold in into my sink with some Dawn and then I just add the hot that I just boiled and then just take a towel usually I put the towel over a tray but my tray is in the Alvantor the towel I'm just going to use that so then I just use a microfiber cloth or a sponge or whatever I have handy. Sometimes you have to rinse them off twice because they do have a lot of soap. As you can see why I have this silver thing up here. Otherwise, that water would all be on my bed. The way it is, it's going on to this. It's flying back and hitting. This is the silicone cup that I just got. I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good setup. You can just wash them all if you want. You know, get them all clean rinse them all at the same time. Now if you want to, now you can do your kettles. water tank underneath. Wipe everything off.
everything else real good. Turn your pump off. And you're done. Easy peasy. Dishes are done in Ruby's in Ruby's kitchen. But I'm gonna dry them because we're gonna do a perfect video today. Now the cool thing about this kitchen that I have here is that it has these little countertops. <clears throat> and there's these wooden things. So as I dry, I can sit on there. Now if it's me and my son, I'll wash and he dries. But either way, we have this thing lifted up that makes it really easy. And that way your dishes are always nice and clean because you're using hot soapy water and rinsing them real good with lukewarm water because the water coming out is lukewarm because it's been sitting here you know in my van it's getting like you could actually shower with that water it would feel awesome and i do have a way of showering here at my van but normally i shower in the bathhouse it's just easier and I'm using their water and not my water, right? Here's my awesome cup. Love it. And I'm going to be making tea later, so I'm going to put this in the Alvantor tank. And I like to use real silverware when I'm camping. not expensive stuff and then you want to make sure that everything's dry around your fridge you know what are getting down in your fridge there we go and you just take your towels and hang them up here to dry there you go I could even hang this up here because this is pretty wet dry too. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Now underneath here, like I said, you can take that out now if you want to. You have to remove your sink. You do that. Let me pull out your gray water tank. Like that. And you just go dump it back under there. And you drop your sink back in. Make sure that the drain is in the hole. And there you go. They put all your stuff on your tray. It's going to go into my tent. This actually goes into the coffee pot. And there you go. And then I just tuck this yoga mat in here because I use this for my knees sometimes if I want to put it there. I didn't use it this time. But this part here is hard, so I'll lay this yoga mat across that. But I didn't use it this time. There we go. Now you have all your dishes. Carry them back over to your Alvantor tent. And you did dishes with Ruby. So thanks for coming and having brunch with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We have lots of fun stuff scheduled for today. Like I said, Jeremiah's coming. We're probably going to take a hike, do some hiking, and I don't know where Ted is. Teddy, you want to say goodbye? Well, I'll see you later on. <laughs> okay, so I'll catch up with you guys later. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.